In the previous tutorial, we made a, uh, an application, a Java application in, in NetBeans that connects to Java's uh, embedded database. Now, in this tutorial, we're going to make a, uh, the, uh, an application that connects to the exact same database, but this one is going to be far more uh, professional looking with far more useful functionality than the previous one had. That we could say was a quick and dirty implementation just to get you used to the idea of uh, connecting Swing UI applications uh, to the embedded uh, uh, Java database in NetBeans. Now I'm going to do a quick demonstration of this application and then we'll start to actually build it. Now as you can see uh, this application has the author as well as the book uh, functionality as in the previous one, but it's put everything into one JFrame, but it's put it into separate tabs. Now, if you wanted to add an author, you would simply type in the name and uh, surname and email of the author. Uh, if the author had an email and you click on insert. Now you'll notice immediately the author appears in the table. So uh, this app is actually updating the table as we go along. Now to add a book is just as simple. You go to the books tab, type in the title of the book, edition. Now you'll find that the uh, combo box is already populated with the author that I've, that I've just put in. So I click on insert and in the same way the author with the edition and the, the book with the edition and the author has been has been inserted. Now editing is just as easy. So let's say I put in an author and I insert only to realize that I've spelled the surname wrong. So I simply click on the author and you'll see the moment you click on any author, the name appears in the uh, text boxes or the information appears in the text boxes. I can go in, make the necessary changes and click rather than the insert button, I click on the edit button. Click on edit and there we go. The author is all fixed up. With the books, it works in the exact same way. So I'm going to put in a new book. This time I'll set the author as Stephen King. Insert, and there we go. The book has been uh, has been added. I'm going to add another author. Insert. All right. So we've looked at the insert and the edit functionality. Now let's go to. Uh, to books. Now, a book has to have an author. You cannot save a book without an author in, in our system. To delete a book is very simple. Simply click on it and click delete. The book is gone. Now, with deleting authors, it's far more complicated than, than deleting books because remember the author is the independent table in our database and books is a dependent table. So, when you're deleting a book, a book can be deleted on its own because there's nothing depending on it. But authors, on the other hand, has books depending on it. So, for example, let's take a look at Charles Dickens, for example. Now, Charles Dickens has a book in our library called Oliver Twist. If we were, uh, were able to delete Charles Dickens, what would happen to Oliver Twist, which depends on Charles Dickens? That would lead to a data integrity problem in our database if we allowed this sort of thing. We would have a book hanging free without any author. And that's not acceptable because our database is designed in such, to, such a way that every single book must be attached to an author. So if we try, for example, to delete Charles Dickens, Java does not allow us. It just puts in a message. You cannot delete this author. You must delete this author's books first. So there has to be zero books under this author's name for the author to be uh, deleted. Now let's uh, look at Mark Twain if it's, if it's going to be complicated. Delete and Mark Twain is gone because as we saw in our list of books, we didn't have any books that were written by Mark Twain. All right. So in the same way, we can delete Stephen King. Delete and he's gone. And as far as the last button, which is the clear button goes, that simply clears the form. So you click on clear and everything is gone. So for example, if you click on an author and you 
you've got the information and then you realize hey I don't need this information I want to type in completely new information and add a new author so you clear that type in your new author and insert it so in this tutorial we are going to make this app step by step